everybody's singing, and, Tom, and John didn't bring his guitar, so all I could think is that song that I tried to remember the words for, that his John's mom would sing for Tom. I love myself, I think I'm grand. I go to the show, just hold my hand. I wrap my arms around my waist. When I get fresh, I slap my face. I'm an <laughs> It's something his mom was saying when the actor was doing a, a choir singing thing wow. to an insane asylum, which was just, that's the <laughs> craziest but good thing. They loved it. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Um, I was going to share three poems. I just pulled them out from the... Uh, dream series, I have no idea, but uh, I can tell you that this first one was actually adapted with music from David Michael Jackson and Andy Derryberry in Nashville and, and set this to music. This is Dreams 31104, Truck on Truck. My dream made absolutely no sense to me. It was night and I was outside with a man. I, I don't know who he was, but in my dream it was someone I trusted and was supposed to be with. It was someone personality-wise. It was supposed to be more like one of my close friends, Eugene, but it wasn't him at all. Well, anyway, I was sitting there in the snow on the ground, like a little dirty old snow, not that fresh snow to snowfall. And it didn't have a, it didn't even have a coat on. And this Eugene-like guy that I was with, so staying inside of the truck, and he was on the bed of another truck and the back of the big truck was backed up and the actual thing to the foot ledge and so you could just drive the small one on top of the bed of the other truck well anyway he's yelling it to me to get in and this was the only way that we could do what we had to do I don't know what we had to do. I don't remember from this dream at all what I was supposed to be doing. And so I got the impression that he was going to drive this truck back onto some other truck where we were done. So I went to get in. I remember saying that I was getting into this guy, in with this guy, and it was moved, and then some stuff in the truck was moved for me, and then I inadvertently got some snow onto me. And this, this other guy, quietly just made, uh, got me mad enough that I had no coat on, and there was even chains on the tires in this truck, apparently, to keep this whole truck on the other truck in the first place. But he just drove the truck backwards and broke the chains as we drove off the bed of this other bottom truck. And so then we just drove off of this three-foot ledge, like a was a curb or something, and we started driving down the road. I don't know what we were doing, but the mission had started, and that's when I woke up. Yeah. This one is called Dreams 92405, a phone that is a purse that matches my shoes. I don't know what we were doing, but we were out on the street. I don't know what street it was. You had the back seat of the car pulled out. It was a, a big car, it, it wasn't my car, and you were looking for something. I don't know, but I noticed that we were there were peanuts and junk where the seat was. I don't know, it looked like something was just wrong with this car, but I don't know what the, we had to do. And we were putting this row of the seats out of the car anyway. So anyway, I was standing out there, side there, leaning against the car. I think I was wearing shorts. I, I think it was summer. I, I think we were, uh, there was another group of guys driving by looking at me. But I didn't really care. And eventually you said that we should go. I looked at the car, I saw the seats there, and I asked you if you got rid of the peanuts that were under the seat, and of course you didn't, so I was just thinking about you had to put these seats back on top of this food that's left in the car. But then I said stop, because hey, there's a yard sale along the side of the street, and there was a ton of stuff crammed into this little Chicago-style yard, so you pulled over for me to get out, and you said you'd drive to park the car. And so I looked at this, all this crap that they had on sale, and they had a telephone that was styled to look like, you know, a really cool old chrome-style toaster. And it needed to be cleaned up, but you could see the buttons for the phone and the front and the back of it, and the rest of the area was for the top of the earpiece. But the earpiece was missing, so I was trying to ask about the earpiece. Could I just use another phone earpiece and plug it into this toaster phone? It's not like I'd be using this toaster phone. It just looks kind of excellent cool. And it was dirt cheap, like two bucks. And then I was waiting for an answer, and I saw a phone that was designed to look like a big purse. And it looked like I was just thinking at it, and I was looking at it, and I was thinking it matched actually a pair of my shoes, like a faux brown eel skin leather. 
like I'd buy a phone because it was a purse that matched my shoes. I think I might have looked up and saw you waiting in the car, like you even like garage sales. You knew better than to join me. <laughs> and this last one I think also had music from uh, the people from, from Tennessee, from David Michael Jackson. Um, this is called Dreams 121205, Eon Flux Crawl. So we were out of town, I don't know for how long, and someone told us that we could stay at this other really cool house for another night if we needed a place to stay. You see, the owner of the house was out of town for at least another day, so it would be okay if we stayed there. Now, I don't think that we were actually allowed to stay there, so we had to keep the lights off and keep quiet. All I remember is being upstairs and everything was open like floor to ceiling windows and seeing people outside that must have been neighbors enjoying the night air and partying outside. So I was crawling along the hallway floor trying not to be seen, but I was being sly, crawling with my hands on the ground, but keeping the rest of my body in the air, you know, for ease of movement, I suppose. And I had to look like the crawling around that was like Eon Fox in that MTV movie that wasn't true the actual cartoon storyline, crawling but not actually touching the carpet. So all these pieces of carpet were almost like billions of glades of individual blades of, of actual glass. Well, anyway, all I knew is that I was thinking that I'm a levitating like Leon, Eon Flux crawling around thing and I'm trying to see you around the house and not be seen. But I thought people might be far enough away, and we were told that we could use the house. We didn't break in, someone let us in, and I think I saw a jacuzzi in the backyard. So I want to tell you that we can enjoy the hot water, but I found you in the master bedroom bed, sound asleep. Of course, I'm crawling around like Eon Flux, and you're sleeping. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 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 thank you. And I'm like, I'm being acting like I'm some, and I'm like, doing this in my dream. And the person I'm with is sleeping. What? That's what, those are my dreams.